Salesforce Winter 18 release is around the corner and it's coming up with new lightning tag for uh, lightning component developers which is called flexi page region info so it basically gives uh, your component a width idea how much real estate uh, it is having and you must be wondering why it is important we already have something like this dollar browser which gives you idea of form factor if it is Android iOS iPad iPhone tablet or whatever uh, size you can imagine and even the specific devices also so why do we have uh, this tag now which will gives us the width awareness because it's again part of responsiveness to know the width so for this uh, let's stay to the desktop we will not worry about mobile and uh, tablet in this uh, video so if we see this is a standard record detail page for opportunity but uh, the same my opportunities component it's coming as a flat grid here but the same in the right sidebar it is coming up as a tiled or you can say card layout where each row is in form of card so this is the problem uh, this tag is trying to solve that uh, you know how much space you have so by space i mean is it a small space is it a medium is it large or is it an extra large space so why why this is important because you must be wondering if you are just developing a component for your salesforce implementation you know where you are going to put it so that could be right to some extent but imagine you are an uh, isv developer you develop something like my opportunities and uh, on the component marketplace you'd never know will somebody put your component in this big flat huge full width area will it be like a medium sized box like that or will it be in sidebar like this so if you are uh, especially looking for your component to work across different sizes very well and automatically adjust not only across mobile tablet and desktop but within desktop to the available real estate then that's the tag uh, for you to get a quick overview uh, we have a simple piece of code here but uh, i did something uh, different so let me quickly show it to you so this is uh, my component so what uh, this tag expects is it takes a uh, attribute on the component as an input so what does mean is like uh, whenever lightning runtime will uh, uh, enable or run your component it will basically pass the available real estate info that is small medium large extra large to this width attribute which you should have declared in your component now uh, what you can do with that is in my case uh, let me show it to you first before i walk you through the code so this is a standard account detail page so let me edit it so now we have this uh, flexi page region info test so if i put it in something like this area it's coming like four cards are visible now now let me put it here i will put it actually three times in all possible three real estate in this uh, layout and this is the large layout so this is how it is apart from that let me put one more thing i created one other component called mobile aware let me quickly open it so this is very simple component which is basically just using this mobile form factor track dot browser uh, to figure out what uh, form factor it is because uh, uh, it works out on HTTP headers, so you will see that it is not helpful anymore in this kind of width uh, decision. So I'm just dragging it similarly here next to my other component. So if I save this page now and go back. So you see these desktop 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 so what is happening is uh, this is the form factor tag this tag mobile aware which is printing all everything as desktop so we clearly see that this is not at all helpful to us so let's quickly get rid of it before we confuse it with other component so i'm just deleting it from the layout now okay so now we are uh, with our component which is looking little different in every location it says card one two three four here in a large format it says in medium i am card one two then three four and in a small format it is stacking all of them vertically so how is that happening and what are these small medium and large 
so if we come back to our component so whatever width is coming out of uh, this uh, flexi region page info this is being printed out here so what you see here as large medium and small that's the real estate input that is get, getting back to you by this flexi page region info apart from that what we did is we just iteratedly hard codedly over four items 1 2 3 4 and for each of them i'm just trying to create a grid based layout using lighting layout and lighting layout item and uh, we are using a standard card class and just printing the card and the item number so that's why you see card 1 2 3 4 and in content we are not not doing anything fancy we just printing the number uh, in iteration that is 1 2 3 4 now only thing which is left to uh, reveal here is the cell size so what we are doing is after uh, this uh, flexi page region info basically feeds our width attribute in the init of the controller we are basically checking what's the width we are getting is it large is it medium or is it small so in my case i'm just catering three sizes large medium and small so i say that typically the all responsive layouts have a 12 column uh, view port so i say that if it is a, a large layout then every of my card size for card i mean like single this card it will take three columns if it is a medium it will take six column and if it is a small it will take 12, 12 columns So if I come here, you can see that it's a 12 column layout. So in a large, it's taking three columns. So that's why three into four, 12. In medium, it is taking six columns. So six into 12. So that's how it is. But don't confuse it because in medium, you are in this zone only. You don't get this full layout. So responsiveness is limited to this area only. And similarly, in a small, you don't get full horizontal real estate. You just get a border from here to here. That's your boundary. in which the component has to work so once we have uh, calculated this uh, size i'm just putting it into a cell size attribute and based on that cell size we are just telling lighting layout for how many columns that given card should take so that's the same in action and uh, it's a very basic example just to give you an idea but uh, just like these guys did like if you have a grid you can make it a card so this is a good opportunity for especially component marketplace developers to make their components really responsive and flexible for any use in lightning experience as well hope you like the video i'm happy to hear any feedback you have